Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com and this is my daily stock signals video for Monday the 8th of October where I take just one of our signals from our stock scanners membership and set it up uh, on a chart for an entry. So in our members area, our members get the opportunity to download spreadsheets for potential long and short fifth wave trades on the 60 minute, the daily and the weekly time frame. So on the long fifth wave trades for today, for example, in the members area, click on the image and download the spreadsheet, which some looks something like this for today. So I've chosen the daily time frame today, but if you look at the bottom of the spreadsheet, you can see the weekly and the 60 minute tabs as well. After a couple of bearish days last week, we have had some good pullbacks and presenting some potential long fifth wave trades if we can find support today. So I've chosen JWN Nordstrom Inc on the daily time frame. So let's have a look at the chart here. So first of all, this is the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite from Wave5Trade.com for the Ninja Trader platform NT8. Uh, I'm going to give you the overview here and then go on to the Think or Swim platform. So what I've done is just ha I highlighted the lows down here, just isolated the lows down here back in November around about the 8th of November last year. As you can see uh, we did have a bit of a move up and then we went sideways for a very long time. So then our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite has picked out this uh, trend now with the Elliott Waves 1, 2, 3 and 4. And it's this Wave 4 pullback that we're really interested in now. So let's have a look on at a closer look using our Think or Swim platform. So this is this same Wave 4 pullback but using our uh, Elliott Wave Indicator Suite for the Think or Swim platform. And this is what we're really interested in here, the behavior of this wave four. So initially it's found support in our amber zone. This gives an 80% probability. It's going to go on and make a new wave five high into our automated target zone around about $69 here or here in blue. The next is the performance and the the behavior of this wave four. So the middle of the two of the three sub charts here, the, the 535 oscillator has pulled back between 90 and 140%, which is really crucial. And then the top subchart is our false breakout stochastic. We've got this yellow line at the top of the stochastic here, which denotes a really strong bullish trend. And when the stochastic pulls back against there, it is likely to return to that main bullish trend. We've got the volume in here as well. We can see we've had a couple of accumulation days there. So as we're moving away from this wave for low, we're increasing in volume. So the momentum starting to build. We do have our MTF dot cloud down here as well. The main key trend on the monthly is green and then the weekly is green as well. And we're just waiting for this daily to return to green and we'll have a go for this long here. So with the entry 6.4 moving average high part of our Elliott Wave indicator, so we've got to make sure we're above there, but also above this pivot point here. So I've gone for an entry of 61.53. Stop loss below the wave for around about 58.24. That gives us a great risk to reward into our target zone of over one to two there. Target around about $69 into our automated target zone there. So as you can see, very, very simple to set up from our stock scanner membership. The Elliott Wave Indicator Suite does its job, highlights those um, in those wave counts. And we're interested in trading that fifth wave because it's the highest probability move in that trend. So that's it for today. Have a great trading day. Speak to you all tomorrow.